Hello everyone, this is Dave from Dave's Recent Things. Today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide to making a birdhouse spring grapevine wreath like this one in the background. Why don't we just get started and I'll show you how I put it all together. I have this 18 inch grapevine wreath from Walmart. Now, if you take a look at it, it has a lot of the dead leaves on it. It's not the cleanest uh, grapevine wreath, <laughs> but it was only $7, so there you go. And I also have this kind of um, teal color gingham ribbon from Michaels, this birdhouse that I got from Dollarama, which is so cute. I love the tin roof on it. It was only 4 bucks for the whole thing, which I thought was a great price for that size. And I have some leftover tulips from Michael's when I did my tulip wreath a couple of weeks ago. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint my birdhouse. And one of the tulips, now these are the two colors that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, the two paints that I got from Dollar Tree, like a Christmas red and a beige. And one of the tulips had a little bit of beige and pink colored kind of a gradient on it. And I wanted to emulate that into the birdhouse as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that little beige paint and I'm just going to paint all over the birdhouse, giving it like one really good quick paint coat. And then what I'm going to come in and do is mix my red and the beige together to create a little bit of a pinky color. So you'll see there, I put it right at the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of that pink color and some of that beige color to create a radiant. So what happens is, is at the bottom of the birdhouse, I want it to be like this reddish color, pinkish color, and then fade up into the beige color. So I'm just taking my time with this. I'm layering the paint. And you want to work with wet paint when you do this. And then every now and then I just add a really shock of red. And I think it came out great. I really love how this turned out. And I think it looks like the tulip. Here we go with our two and a half inch wired gingham ribbon. And I'm gonna make just a casual bow with this and I'm gonna cut them at 20 inches. So there's 20 inch lengths. There is four of them at 20 inches and one at 10 inches. Really, really quickly, I'm just gonna fold it over using my glue gun, creating little loops for all four of those 20 inch pieces. And here we go, I'm just taking one on a diagonal, I'm gonna take another one on a diagonal, and then we're gonna squish that together once we put the center piece on there as well. I will link up in the top right hand corner and the description box down below, a more detailed video of how to create this casual bow using a glue gun. Here we go, we're just gonna tie it together with my pipe cleaner. And we've got our little bow all ready to go. All it needs now is a little tail. So this is our last 20 inch piece. Cut those dovetails right at the end. Or you can leave them if you want, totally up to you. <laughs> and then we'll attach that tail right to the back of the bow. And then that bow is ready to attach to our grapevine wreath. Look how cute that is. Nice and easy and simple, eh? <laughs> Here we go. So I've cleaned out my grapevine wreath. I have my tulips. I have my bow all ready to go. My birdhouse is ready. And here I'm just kind of deciding how I want to lay this all out. So I've got kind of a couple of options in my head or ideas in my head. Should I do the birdhouse at the top? Should I do it at the side, at the bottom? So once I do that, I kind of think to myself, I'm going to do the one where the birdhouse is at the bottom. So I'm going to take that little rope out at the top. And then I'm going to attach the birdhouse just with some hot glue onto that grapevine wreath. Now, a little tip and trick to cleaning your grapevine wreaths. If you want, I can uh, actually, <laughs> I got tongue tied there for a second. <laughs> Shake it like a tambourine. You know how you hold it in one hand and then smack it against the other? That's usually what I do. Don't do it too hard. Just do it lightly. I do it outside in my yard and all the dead leaves come off and then I come in and I cut off the extra leaves that I don't want. 
Here I am, I am just cutting down those tulips, just giving a little bit of a stem because I want to stick them into the grapevine wreath and then kind of sorting them out into the colors. So I have a greeny, a cream, and then I have that pink color as well. My birdhouse is all attached. I'm just kind of taking a look at everything, seeing it how it looks. Am I happy with it? Yes, I am. And then I'm kind of figuring I'm going to offset that bow from the birdhouse and from the center just a little bit. And then I'll start off with some of the uh, tulips. So here you can see I'm just putting glue right at the end and then shoving those tulips into the grapevine wreath. And I'm putting a little bit of uh, glue on there. It's not a huge amount of glue. So now I've got kind of my outline of where my bow is going to go and where I should start my flowers and put my flowers in. And I'm mixing the cream color with the greenish color ones right here. And then eventually on the left hand side coming around the top, I will add some of that pinky peach color. And every now and then I put my bow back in and just kind of fool around with placement. Again, you never have to glue anything down right away. My whole uh, theory is, is start laying it out without glue. See how you like it. Play around with it. You know, do two or three different designs that are in your head or ideas. And then once you're happy with it, start gluing. Because it's a lot easier to take it apart when it's not glued. <laughs> so here you go. I am finishing off with my tulips. I am starting to love this. And with floral wire, I'm just going to bring it through the center of that bow. That's how I'm going to attach it to my grapevine wreath. So I give it a couple of good twists with that floral wire, making sure it's all nice and secure. And then I'm going to open it up, place it down, and then flip it over and give it a couple of really good twists to make sure that that bow doesn't go anywhere. This is not mandatory, but what I like to do, especially when I use floral wire on a wreath, is I'm going to chop off the excess, and then I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue just on that area, just to protect the door. So I'm not scratching the door or the wall or wherever I'm going to do it. And really, lastly, I'm just going to fluff up that bow a little bit, and there you go. We have our birdhouse spring grapevine wreath. But <laughs> as I was finished, I was taking a look at it and I was like, you know what? I do love the shininess of that tin roof. And I'm like, it needs a little more natural look to it that I'm going for. So then I decided, you know what? I'm going to add some of this moss that I had right at hand. And all I'm doing here is just putting down a whole bunch of hot glue. And then I'm going to add moss to it, hold it down, push it in place. And then I'm going to be creating that moss roof, which I loved so much. Of course, I do still love it. <laughs> and I do a little bit at the front as well, just to cover up all of that steel that's showing or metal. And then a little bit to create a little bird's nest. And of course, the cleanup after moss. <laughs> Here we go. Our spring grapevine birdhouse wreath is all ready for my front door. I am loving how this looked with the tulips and the birdhouse and the bow that we created last week. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you think or if you have any ideas for me to do in upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching today. Take care. Bye for now.